Hi, welcome to Bright Hope Creations. I'm Kira, and today we're making five cards with one universal background using Year 11 Superstar, Be Me Up, Upon a Star, Offset Sane's Birthday, Henry's ABCs, Slimline Forest Border and the Oval from Giant Happy Birthday, large and small mini slimline stackables, and lots of rectangles from the outside in ones, the large stackables, and the rectangle frames. Holographic paper and cardstocks in black licorice, blue jay, and cilantro. I have a piece of Strathmore Cold Press 400 series watercolor paper, and I'm taping it down to my glass mat so that I can keep it sort of flat. And my main go-to's for a background in, in the sky are the chip sapphire and black soot. And then these are the bright colors I'm bringing in. So there's wilted violet there, twisted citron, mowed lawn, and salty ocean. A couple of salty oceans there. I thought I'd use a lot of that one. I wet my paper a little bit. I wet my brush and just picked up some of that ink and I wanted a few streaks and I wanted a few blobs. That's kind of what I was going for on, on this paper. So just mixing those colors as they would rainbow order so that they blend nice together, play together well. <laughs> and it's a mess. It, it's just that's what it is. I, I think uh, when I do a universe like this, I just put in the blobs, just just wherever you want, and it always comes out. I, I don't understand because at at many points, including this point, <laughs> I I just think, oh, this is terrible. I'm just going to throw this out and start again. Uh, but really, it, it just, it always works out. So I added... Uh, everything on there and then I, now I'm coming back for a second layer and kind of blending some colors together brightening up some of the colors making sure that I've got a contrast I do want to keep some light colors in here and that's hard for me to do I always go a little heavy-handed with things get it dark and bright but trying to keep things a little light in places and then certainly want to have some brilliant bright areas as well you're certainly not limited to these colors i mean you could go with reds and oranges and uh you know just it, it, it's up to you uh the universe is yours to command <laughs> uh now i'm coming through with my black soot and my chip sapphire and i'm just going around the areas <laughs> the blobs and streaks with that, just kind of giving uh, a little bit of definition now. So soon I will go all through this whole paper with the black and the dark blue and just get it all kind of blended around my blobs. And then I really didn't like how thick that streak was getting, so I put it black in between and divided that up. So here you see I put the black around everything. It's dried and it's much lighter now, so I'm coming in with my second or I guess third layer of color and brightening up areas. One way that helps me to keep things where I want them is it's just really to go right over the place that uh, like go over the purple with purple so that I can decide if I want to expand from that or if I like it just on top. In other words, I, I use what's down there as a guide and just uh, that helps me kind of keep things together without uh, something going rogue, <laughs> I guess. But again, it always works out. So, you know, <laughs> do what you want. I just keep brightening up these areas. And then I wanted a little bit of purple up in that one section that's just got the, the black. And now I can start on more of the dark blue, the chip sapphire, and the black soot. 
things are dry and now I've got a darker concentration of that black soot coming in. Now I'm really serious about this being black, <laughs> being the, the night. But that dried too and you can see it, it lightens up. Getting into that section that I wanted to divide. I'm trying to get through a little bit more. See, I still feel at this point, uh, maybe I should throw this out and <laughs> start over. But I'm coming in now with a blender brush and the chip sapphire and the black soot. And okay, look, now it it looks good. I, I tell you every time it just things work out and the lights stay light and everything kind of looks great. But now I'm putting on some acrylic paint and with a stiff brush for the stars. And that really makes it look like a universe to me. That, that says, okay, all right, I know what you're going with here. <laughs> all right, just spritzing it around everywhere. You can have whatever size stars you'd like. Mine are kind of small there, but I'm okay with that. Uh, I just am never okay with all the... <laughs> it, it goes everywhere else as well. So I'll be cleaning up my desk for a while, getting all those little stars <laughs> off my desk taking off my tape and this is a template of the largest of the mini slim lines. I'm just bringing it around the paper to see what I like as far as a universe would go and getting ideas. So I really am trying to get two pieces, two cards out of this and then whatever I have left, I'll figure out how to use it. So that'll be one right there that I was pleased with. And then the second one, hmm, will be down in this corner here. I'll cut these out with the second largest of the mini slim line stackables so that I can create a border. And you can see I only cut that one partially because I wanted to keep what was underneath it and I knew it would be covered. And then I have a tiny slim line and a rectangle and a partial rectangle. And those are my five. And here's what I have left. So just nothing except that those little bits. But those will be used too for some letters. All right. So now that I have my backgrounds, I have to have the uh, characters. They're going to play their roles on the backgrounds. And uh, the main character here today is the planet from year 11 stamp set and I'm stamping out quite a few because uh, with watercolor well, this is obviously distressing I'm using like watercolor but it always has a, a mind of its own so if I color a few I can choose the ones I like the best with everything in these five cards I'm trying to keep things consistent so one of the things that will be consistent is that they will all be silver heat embossed so everything that I am creating sentiments and the different images it's all silver heat embossed now this little spaceship I wanted to put an alien inside so I'm just covering up that bottom there and stamping him in there and now he's he's riding in his spaceship i'm going to use the same colors that i did for the sky and also some contrasting colors as well but start with the grays and i'm just using that black soot with a lot of water and getting the silver sections out and also i'll do the uh, gray mice and the white bunnies now they're they're going to be shaded a little gray as well one nice thing is you can add a little water and blot things out so lighten things up i'm using wild honey and candied apple as my kind of contrast colors things that are going to really show up on that background so some yellow stars and brighten those up a little bit with some darker wild honey and then onto those planets and that's going to be a combination of both the wild honey and the candied apple 
I'm coloring a lot slower than it looks like here. Uh, this is sped up about six times the speed of what I really am coloring. Same with the backgrounds. I, I colored those uh, a lot slower as well. It's really quite a relaxing thing to do. Uh, it's just not something you want to watch for hours. And so <laughs> that's why it's all sped up. And you can just I wanted to keep as much in as possible so you could see the layers uh, happening, but I certainly didn't want to keep you here for a few <laughs> few hours. I don't think I would keep you here for a few hours. You'd be you'd be gone. Anyway, <laughs> putting a little bit of that candied apple for the ears and cheeks and things like that, and then just getting another layer of the shadows onto some of these characters here. A little more topography for the planets here and so I'll just dapple dapple on some of the candy dapple <laughs> all right uh, now I'm bringing in that salty ocean getting some blue for the rings and the hats and some twisted citron for those party blowers and also the hats so everything really coordinates a uh, little bit more green on our alien in the ship and darken up those party blowers and then comes the green in the hat stripes. The spaceship dome is going to be clear glass so you would see the space behind it so I'm going to try to get that all sort of equal with the background. I'm grabbing the coordinating dies to each of these little guys and I'll cut them all out in my die cut machine. Here they are. Again, I won't use all of them, but I'll use one of each of them at least. Darkening up that spaceship once again. And I think this is the last layer I need of that. All right, this star comes with some cool shades, sunglasses. So of course we gotta add those. So stamping that on and heating that up and now he is super superstar <laughs> and I'm taking a white gel pen for the stars I didn't want to splatter this because I wasn't sure how I was gonna do but the white gel pen seemed to work just fine now here's another thing that I'm doing with each of these cards uh, black strips are gonna be used quite a bit so black strips, silver, embossing powder to get the sentiment on. Just heat those up so I can, you know, make a bunch of those and then work from there. So let's assemble these cards. This is card number one, and I have the holographic background on it, but I didn't want to use up all of that holographic paper, so I took a smaller of the slimline dies so that I could save some of that. I'll add some adhesive and attach that to my note card. And this is a three by six. It's the size of the largest of the slimline dies. And then add my background. So this one is the full background. And then I have those sentiment strips. And then I added the sentiment to the forest border and cut that with the uh, slimline die. And here's another thing that I'm doing with all of my cards. I'm raising the sentiments up with foam tape and also the main character. So, so our little planet here. So keeping a lot of the elements the same helps me to make these cards a bit quicker. I don't have to think through everything. I, I'm thinking through the layout, but I'm using all the same colors of cardstock and the same uh, that holographic paper it's going to be a staple for each of the cards and and that kind of keeps that consistency it makes it makes it a lot simpler when I'm trying to put a lot of cards together at one time this sentiment is also from year 11 it says sorry I missed your birthday I didn't plan it that way <laughs> I think that's cute. All right, here's the second card, and we're using just that small strip, and that was cut with a slimline die. And this is going to be a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. 
I am again trying to save some of that holographic paper, but this time I'm just drawing around where my next panel will be so I can cut in about an eighth of an inch from there and then I, I can keep some of that that precious paper. I just hate to, to get rid of that or just have it being covered up. So cut that out and now I can adhere that down. The holographic paper was cut with the largest of the outside in stitched rectangles and this piece of black licorice cardstock was the largest of the large stitched rectangle stackables. A piece of blue jay cardstock cut from the large stitched rectangle stackables. And here comes our little piece of heaven, <laughs> our little piece of universe. And it's just going on the side there. And what I like is that you don't have to have a full universe to make the the point or to say what you're trying to tell. <laughs> now looking at this card, I think I would make a smaller mat out of that holographic paper because I think that might be taking away or distracting from the little strip of the universe. Well, next time. <laughs> On to the third card. Now this is that little piece of rectangle. It wasn't a full rectangle. I just got a, a bit of it. So one side isn't finished. It has a raw edge and I decided to make a frame for it. Now I didn't have a frame that was the right size. So what I'm doing is just miter cutting the corners and I figure that's acceptable because frames have miter cuts in the corners and I think it'll look fine. Once I glue both sides down, I'll just trim off the excess and then we'll have a nice frame for our universe. All right, this card threw me a little bit. I started with one layout, but then I ended up with another. That was my original layout design and I'm getting my letters put together. So I cut them out of cilantro cardstock and also the universe. So that little bit that we had left of that paper. And this is my new favorite. I, I love, I don't know, I love letters, I love fonts, but this is my new favorite, Henry's ABCs. All right, here's the new layout. I put that framed universe centered into that Blue Jay cardstock panel. And I have the word planet down at the bottom. So again, another year 11 using the sentiment as well, but the one part of the sentiment is large with the letters. I, I guess I just wanted this all centered. I like that better. It made me feel more at peace, <laughs> I guess, centered. I don't know. Okay, I'm not, not really, <laughs> but all right. The holographic cardstock comes in as a top and bottom border for my blue panel so just and and that that comes from one of the ones that we saved from a different holographic panel i'm gonna attach that up whoop turn it over okay i turned it over <laughs> now in this design the mouse is going to sit on the p of planet and his telescope is going to be teetering on the l and the a so it's it, it works for him, it, even though it's not fully stable with that one leg. I know, don't look at it. Just know that it's stable. <laughs> okay. And then the parts of that sentiment, I didn't. And then there's the planet. And then that way is down there. And then just attaching the other parts of the sentiment. I'm sorry, I missed your birthday. And you know, the reason uh, these cards are gonna, they're gonna come in real handy for me because that, that's me. I'm missing birthdays this this past year, just left and right, it's awful. All right, well, onto our fourth card. This is that partial mini slim line and the force border at the bottom is where I'm going to add the sentiment. And this sentiment comes from the stamp set Superstar 
And then our little bunny uh, comes from a Pana star. So again, with the silver heat embossing, so put on that clear ink and add that silver embossing powder, heat that up and that's ready to go. And also I'm going to use the shooting part of that star uh, in silver embossing as well. Now that doesn't show up quite well on camera, but it does shimmer in the sky adding my holographic background and my partial mini slimline universe here, right? Kind of the same formula as that first card, but then just a larger portion for the forest border. And that gave me enough room for that sentiment, which says, there are stars and then there are superstars. So this is more of an encouragement type card so not not a sorry I missed your birthday we're we're on to other things now here's our little bunny and our cool superstar out flying in the night and we're on to card five so this is that full stitch rectangle but it had a little bit of white on the bottom edge but that's all right because we're gonna put a planet down there first I want to put the sentiment right on the panel and this is from both Beam Me Up and also Offset Sayings Birthday. So the word birthday is from there. And the exclamation point. Silver heat embossed that. And this is my watercolor planet. Now, I made it big because I didn't know if I wanted to put the whole sentiment on there as well. But I decided, no, nah, I really just want a little snippet of it for the... Uh, rectangle panel itself. So I cut that out and I'm putting the cilantro onto the black cardstock and adding my planet. Now I didn't raise this one up because that beam, I wanted to make sure that was flat. That was silver heat embossed on some vellum and it's going to be attached at the top by the spaceship and at the bottom, once I have this little alien attached, then I can lift that all up and put a dot of glue under right where he is so you won't see it. So now that, that adheres my vellum and I can attach it to a panel of holographic paper and attach that onto my main panel. And I'll adhere the whole thing onto a four and a quarter by five and a half inch note card. And there's our fifth card done. All right, let's look at all our cards. So we have the three four and a quarter by five and a halves. And we have our two mini slim lines. And they all came from our one panel of universe. So five cards from one panel. Uh, very universal. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video today and it encouraged you to maybe make a universe background for yourself. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye!